Five, four, three, two, one, ignition. Three Chinese astronauts okay. in space. Pitch over. Okay, the pitch over happening uh, about 12 seconds into yeah. the flight. The tower is already clear. We can see the white flames very bright in the night. The ground station reports that the tracking is normal and the status is normal. Oh, this is the camera mounted on the launch vehicle. And we will continue to hear those tracking data um, that will tell us how the flight is going. We'll continue to hear them throughout the process. So the next critical step will be the jettisoning of the emergency exit Cape Town about uh, two minutes after the liftoff. Mm. At this moment, we can see that this is the video uh, mounted on the uh, on the body of the uh, maybe the second stage, and we can see two of the boosters mm. and their flames, it's and we can see the cabin uh, in, inside the reentry capsule, mm. and the three astronauts are in very good status. Mm. We cannot see the vibration because the camera is vibrating together with the cabin. That's right. The the three Taikonauts do seem um, to be in a good state. And each of the booster have a rocket engine with a thrust about 75 tons. Mm. And, and when it has reached the supersonic uh, status, uh, it will experience the, lar uh, the largest uh, aerodynamic forces called the max of Q. Mm. Uh, so at this moment, it will be supersonic and will be safer and safer. Mm. Oh, great. The jettisoning of the emergency so escape power. The escape towers have come off. This is two minutes into the flight. Exactly. And then USB will be the separation of the four boosters. We're monitoring to see um, the four boosters coming off. I mean, you know, uh, the Taikonauts do seem to be doing fine, but this is the part where they feel a lot of discomfort, and as you can see, the boosters are Great. coming off. You can see a cross of the four boosters. Mm. And the first stage has already been separated. And the first stage of the carrier rocket. And the second stage will work much longer than the first stage. It has one main engine. Uh, it is a vacuum version of the first stage engine. It is similar, but with a large nozzle. And also, the second stage have four vernier engines with mm. smaller thrust, but they are rotatable. We can see on the left of screen is a camera mounted on the launch vehicle. Uh, this one is a camera inside the payload ferry. Mm. The Taikonauts are flipping through their manuals again. They seem to be really fine. Great. Something the, else. The is payload fine. fairing is separated. The, that's the payload fairing. Uh, the payload fairing is what protects the spacecraft. Yes. You can see the beautiful flames of the launch vehicle. Mm. What do you make of the Taikonauts um, at this point? I mean, the fact that they're flipping through their manual seems to suggest uh, they're doing very well. They are just very on, well. uh, reading the parameters on the control panel and to judge uh, whether anything goes right. The ground staff uh, reports that the tracking is normal. What are we looking at now, Professor? This so is this is uh, uh, this is a video captured by the ground station. It is an optical uh, camera. Okay. 
So the tracking units are, some of them are from stationary Wait, units, others are from um, ships that moved into position prior to the launch of the exactly. mission. Exactly. So, so uh, along the downrange trajectory, we have multiple ground stations, including those with the uh, uh, telescopes, or optical telescopes, to uh, take vi videos like this. And also we have the readers. Uh, we have the readers to monitoring the... Oh, we can see on the left is the camera mounted on the rear part of the second stage. Hmm. So it is monitoring the working of the uh, rocket engines. Hmm. And the, the main engine of the second stage will um, shut down as we go further into the flight. Is that what's going to happen next? Exactly. So uh, I've already been discussed that the payload firing has already been separated. So the next critical step will be shut down of the main engine. Mm. But at this moment, uh, theoretically speaking, it is already in orbit, but maybe not accurate enough. Mm. So, so we will use the four vernier engines, uh, the four smaller engines, mm -hmm. to adjust mm -hmm. its trajectory. Got it. So another re uh, ground station reports that the status is normal. Mm. The Shuangcheng Guang Station mm. reports that it is normal. Mm. I mean, we've done this so many times, but it just doesn't get less um, nervous for all of us watching on Earth here. Yes, we just heard the voice that Qingdao has already captured the vehicle. It is already close to Qingdao. Mm. And the separation uh, of the, uh, sp uh, the spacecraft and the launch vehicle will be in the, uh, 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 to the east of the China's uh, sea coast. Mm. I mean, Qingdao is on China's east coast. The uh, Kira rocket lifted off from the northwest of China. Yes. In a few minutes' time, it moved from the northwest of China to the east coast of the country. And uh, uh, before the end of the working of the rocket, the attitude will be about 200 kilometers. Hmm. Have they passed the period where they feel most discomfort now? I mean, for the for the Taikonauts? Uh, exactly. You see that the most uh, uh, inconvenient part is during the flight of the first stage. Hmm. Because you know that because of the aerodynamic forces, there are many intensive uh, vibrations. But at this moment, you know that they've already in the vacuum condition. Mm. Uh, the payload fairing has already been set it, uh, separated. Another ground station reports that the uh, the USB uh, and also the uh, uh, another uh, data link is normal. I wonder what you're thinking right now, um, especially for Mr. Deng, who waited uh, so long, over two decades for this time. It's finally happening, a dream come true for him. Great, main the main engine, engine has shut down. Shutting down. It's already in orbit, but not maybe not accurate enough. So the four vernier engine will adjust its trajectory mm. precisely. Mm. And we can see on the top right of the uh, screen is the uh, camera, infra uh, uh, infrared camera, mm. uh, taking the uh, videos of the vehicle. Mm. And if all things go well, we're looking at the separation of the spacecraft from the carrier rocket, which will happen any minute now. You can see that three crew members are very relaxed now. Smiles on their faces <laughs> exactly. as they have passed um, that most difficult uh, period of time. A big relief, I would imagine, for all three of them. As I emphasized, Actually speaking, they've already in orbit. Mm, but they are now adjusting the accuracy. Uh, the accuracy of the trajectory. Yes. So the next step will be the shutdown of the four vernier engines. As we mentioned, the main engine was shut down um, uh, just a few moments ago. Uh, you know, that's the engine uh, during the liftoff. The, the thrust is uh, 75 tons. But you know, that's the second stage, although it used the same type of engine, but it is a vacuum version. And the thrust is bigger because it is vacuum condition. Changjiang Liu means uh, Yuan Wang 6 uh, space tracking ship in the Pacific Ocean.
So it is already uh, gets the gets the data. They have link. now identified the object. Exactly. Where is this camera? This is um, this is a camera mounted on the top of the launch vehicle uh, towards the uh, space pack, to the front. Okay, that is the successful separation um, of the spacecraft from the carrier rocket. You hear a round of applause from ground control because this is a critical step yes, indicating yes. initial success of the flight. And what we see now is a 3D animation uh, in the flight control center. Mm. This should emphasize that this 3D animation is driven by the real data mm. received from the telemetry data. Mm. So it's a real-time update, 3D animation, indicating uh, the position, the velocity, the attitude of the vehicle is uh, real status.